Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to trace a Bitcoin transaction. So let's just dive in. Okay, so Bitcoin's taken off. Uh, you want to get in on the action. You want to start to use Bitcoin. And uh, so you go to a website that accepts Bitcoin. Uh, you put in their receiving address, you click send, and you don't get any confirmation on their end that they've received your bitcoins and you start to panic. Okay, so what are you going to do? Well, there's a couple of tools out there that you can use to sort of trace your bitcoin transactions to make sure that uh, you're sending them to the right place, that they've actually gone through, and uh, you know that you've actually. Uh, done your transaction. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so you know, if you want to get a good idea of what's going on with the Bitcoin and where it's going and where it's been sent. Uh, and uh, you want, God forbid, you don't want to send it to the wrong address. So uh, when you have an address to send, you want to be very careful. You want to do your cut and paste. You don't want to try to type in a Bitcoin address. They're pretty long and, uh, you know, one typo your Bitcoin goes into a rabbit hole and you'll never get it back. Okay, so let's start with a Bitcoin wallet, a blank Bitcoin wallet. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to send some Bitcoins to my own wallet. Okay, but it's very similar to what you would do in a situation where you're buying something from a website. Okay, now I'm using the Electrum Bitcoin wallet here, so uh, I don't know what that guy's doing. All right, so uh, as you can see here, uh, this is an empty wallet. Uh, there's nothing in it right now, uh, so I'm going to send some Bitcoins to it. Now this Receive tab over here has the receiving address of the wallet. Okay, and this is exactly what you're going to see if you go to a website where you're going to purchase something with Bitcoin. Uh, for example, on Newegg.com, you can use Bitcoin as a payment method. So what's going to happen is you'll get to your checkout, and then uh, you'll choose Bitcoin as your payment method, and then they're going to throw up a receiving address like this. And they're going to say, okay, just send the, the Bitcoins to this receiving address, and then send us an email that you've sent the Bitcoins, and uh, you know everything will be fine. Now they're generating, I believe they probably generate a unique receiving address for every transaction so they know it's you. Uh, and then also if you're into privacy and anonymity, you might be uh, purchasing uh, a VPN service uh, with Bitcoins so you can kind of uh, keep it uh, separated from your own identity uh, for your uh, increased privacy and anonymity. And a lot of these types of websites receive, uh, can accept Bitcoin as well. And they'll do the same thing. They're going to throw up this Bitcoin receiving address. So uh, this is a pretty good test. So uh, you'll notice over here also that you have this QR code. And the QR code is also the receiving address in the QR code format. And uh, that'll make your life a little easier as well. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things at once here. I'm going to use the uh, Mirage X to show you what's going on with my phone. So uh, I have my phone connected. And I just need to go to AirPlay here, I believe. Choose my Mirage X. And... Oops. It says unable to connect. Isn't that great? Try AirPlay mirroring again. Ah, there we go. That's nice of them. Okay, so here we've got our phone, and I can't click on any of this. I'm going to go to my blockchain, and I'm going to send some Bitcoin to my own address. All right, so uh, over here in send. Um, Let's send five bucks, huh? Why not? All right. Now the two address here. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to tap here. Oh, actually, I uh, up here I'm going to tap this little QR code. And as you can see, it wants me to scan the QR code of the receiving address. That's this guy here. Notice how it filled it in really nice over here. It's the same receiving address. 
then I'm just going to click continue. All right, uh, that's the address. We've confirmed we're going to send five bucks. 27 cents is my fee. And we'll click send. And okay, it said that the uh, transaction was successful. Okay, so I'm going to get this thing out of the way. Now, I want to know uh, did that work? Uh, or did it not? Did it work or did it not work? Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use this uh, little, uh, actually, in the uh, <clears throat> Bitcoin, I'm going to send, oh, I'm going to send a receive, I'll show you this real quick too. I'm going to go ahead and send a receive request to my own email, so I'll have the, uh, and it can be blank too, I believe. I'll send it to my email. Did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. R E X. Uh, let's do Crypto Dad. The Crypto Dad. At Gmail. Com. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to uh, spend all that time typing in that long, humongous uh, Bitcoin receiving address, but I do uh, need access to it. So let's go over here to Chrome. Let's open this guy up here. We'll go to Gmail. Uh, let's switch over to the Crypto Dad email. And we should have gotten this request. Yes, we do. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> now, uh, here is the address that I'm interested in. That is the receiving address. And now we want to go over here to uh, a nice little website. And I'll put the uh, web address in the description down below. Called uh, blockchain.info. Now, uh, my Firefox takes a minute to, to get moving. This is the blockchain explorer. As you'll see up here, this is HTTPS blockchain info. And I can just paste in that receiving address. All right, hit enter. And OK, so it's going to show on the blockchain. Mm, OK, maybe it's only showing me my request. So let's use. Or let me see. let's go ahead and use this one, the receiving address, and see if anything has been transacted to it. Let's try again. That is the receiving address. Okay, hey, look, lo and behold. So we can see here that uh, the Bitcoin transaction has gone through. Uh, and that I've received those bitcoins. Let's, let's look over here in Electrum and see. Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, the fee was low because I used the minimum. And uh, the uh, bitcoin balance is in uh, micro bitcoin. So you see MTC bitcoin. And so you can see down here that, that I have one micro bitcoin and it's unconfirmed. And it's going to take a while uh, across the Bitcoin network for this balance to become completely confirmed so that I'm able to spend it and move it around uh, to other Bitcoin wallets. So in the meantime, we're just going to have to wait. Okay. But the nice thing is that I can see here on the Blockchain Explorer, uh, based on this receiving address, that the transaction has gone through, that uh, there was a transaction on this Bitcoin address. Now, if uh, you know you cut and paste, and in, in, uh, you see that uh, there's a Bitcoin transaction that went through, you can also uh, double check your address with the address of the receiving site. So, let's say uh, you know you just purchased uh, something on Newegg, and uh, they haven't received your Bitcoins. 
you can go back over to their website and confirm that you actually got the right address. Uh, and that's why I stress you want to cut and paste addresses uh, because you don't want there to be any typos at all. So you may confirm that you accidentally sent your bitcoins to the wrong address, God forbid. But in most cases, you'll be able to see that the transaction went through on the blockchain network, and uh, but that it's just taking a while for the confirmation. So on my end, I can see that uh, the transaction has gone through, but that it's unconfirmed, and I'm waiting for a confirmation. But if you buy something from another website, you're not going to have any indication that your transaction has gone through until they get total confirmation. Now, some websites will actually show you that, uh, yes, the transaction has gone through and they're waiting on confirmation, and they'll actually, you can actually go to a page where you can see the transaction confirmations, uh, you know, incrementing. I believe uh, most places need three to five uh, confirmations, okay? That's just how the blockchain works, but you're not going to see... Uh, a confirmation that your item is shipped or that your purchase has gone through un until this process has gone through completely. So that's one nice thing about the blockchain.info. You can uh, look at the transactions that you've uh, put through and make sure that they've actually gone through. So guys, uh, I hope this expanded your understanding of uh, Bitcoins and the blockchain and how things work a little better so that you can put your mind at ease when you're buying things uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, once again, you know, Bitcoin is either uh, pass or fail. You either make it for the transaction or you don't. Uh, <clears throat> I think there are some websites that it might help if you show them that you've made the transaction. Uh, but if you send the Bitcoins to the wrong address, there's nothing the receiver can do for you, you know, because they have no access to those Bitcoins. So you want to be very careful in all of your Bitcoin transactions that you cut and paste Bitcoin receiving addresses and don't try to type them in. That's very hazardous. Uh, could be hazardous to your wallet, so to speak. So once again, thanks for joining me. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to be uh, alerted when I post new videos and give me a like if you like the video. And if you have any questions about uh, any of the tools that I use, please post them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to expand on those topics or, uh, you know, a lot of times the questions give me ideas for new videos. So please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again.